Get ready for the next battle. Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to review Tekken 6 for the Sony PSP. This game came out alongside with Tekken 6 for PS3 and 360, the console versions. Was this a good port? Or was it just another one of those crappy ports you see on the PSP? We'll find out. Spoiler alert, Jen Kazama is trying to take over the world, but that shows you in the story anyway. Shows you in the video clip, but I don't want to waste time. I like to play as Lars. Okay, let's go all the way down the bottom. Game options. It's difficult to level how many rounds there are, round time, or if you get, you know, hit what you're guarding. Sound options is pretty simple. Controls I'll discuss later. Set back to default. Yeah, I want to set the default. Okay. You can also use a data install to shorten load times. This is what the City of Final Fantasy had in a couple of other PSP games. Okay. The gallery is for the story mode. The movie theater. They got some opening things here. And things I cannot look at because I will show you why I don't have anything available for the story mode. Oh, I don't want to cancel. Profile is your character. Let me show you the customizations options. This is a really cool thing what Tekken 6 added. I'll pick Lars. Um, upper body. You can customize your character for online usage. This only appears in online. Changes here and everything. Anyway, I don't want to get too much involved in that. That only shows up if when you play online. I thought that was kind of cool. Practice, I will show later. Network, you can you know ad hoc and trade battle data with nearby players. Pretty self-explanatory. Ghost battle. I'll talk about the challenge. Never mind. Time attack. You know, pretty self-explanatory. You can clear a series of stages as quickly as possible. Nothing more. Survival is, is endless. You have to defeat as many opponents as possible with one health meter. That means you only have one chance. Gold Rush is really cool, and I'll show you that now. Get ready Get for the ready next battle. Oh, goody, I'm fighting Miguel, the new character in Tekken 6. For you. I'm having oh, a bad you're gonna have a worse day Final than you. Okay, this is Gold Rush. You can see the set environment is the background. And what you gotta do is you just gotta beat the living crap out of your opponent. And just, there's no help, you just beat the most coins out of them. And you don't have to worry about it's a timer. If you beat the most coins out of them, now, ah, then you win. Ah! Yeah. Touche. Run over you. Ow! That's pretty much it. And the more battles you fight, the more bonus you get. Go! You win! Huh? It's such a badass how he just, like, you know, walks away. It's cool, really. Okay, it shows your damage dealt, your damage received, the character, obviously, how much gold you have right now, your bonus, and your reward. Now, your bonus will get bigger only if you fight more battles. Like I said, this is a very good way to earn coins, but, like I said before, coins is only good for spending on clothes and items that you will, other people online will see you in. Okay, let's get back to the review then, shall we? Ghost battle. Sometimes when you uh, fight the uh, computer, it'll save your ghost data so you can fight it later. So what that means is 
your fighting style, you will have to fight against if you pick Ghost Battle. So, if you have a certain fighting style, it's probably not going to work here, because your Ghost is going to know what you're doing. Story Battle. This is my most complaint about this entire game. The difficulty is way too hard. There's this crystal beast called Anazeel, or whatever you want to call it. And this thing cheats. It's so, it's so freaking hard. If you get close to it, it hits you. If you get far away, you use a laser that takes away half of your health. If you get away from it, it does spikes that come from the ground and might more than five stab you. The game is way too difficult. I'm sure the console version was the same thing. Our key battle I'll show about later. For now, let's go to practice. Actually, I'll show you the character roster. Character. Leo. Okay, share the controls. Get ready Get for the ready next for the battle. 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 Okay. You use the control stick or the D-pad to move left and right. Down. Ducks. Up jumps. The same thing with the control pad. Double tap the control stick down, you move that way, double tap it up, move that way. I recommend doing this with the D-pad, makes it much easier and it saves the life of your control stick. The L and R buttons I will discuss later. The X button does a high kick, O does a kick also, square does another attack. Pretty much every single button attacks. Okay, let me show you what the L and R buttons are for. That's really cool, I like the training, because it shows you what the move is supposed to do. Use the LNR buttons to scroll through your training. Pick another one. Ah, oh, it's up easy. There we go. Okay. You just... Okay, and the also the triangle and O grabs them. Triangle and square does that. Triangle and X also. I thought I grabbed some. Anyway, I think that's enough said. Let's actually show a real battle here. This game was a really, really good port from the console versions. Okay, we do an arcade battle with Lars, obviously. I'm the sixth Kai or whatever because it's my character by Playdas. Get ready Get for the ready next for the battle. battle. Meet you, Akitamura Oka. Round awesome, one. Awesome, Eddie. Doing it with English dubbing. Ow. <laughs> One battle Round here. Two. Fight. Whoa, never did that before. Ow. Goodbye. You win. Okay. Get ready for the no, next for that. Round one. Fight. I don't think so. Okay. The characters also speak in Japanese, Chinese, and English. How can they understand each other? It's beyond me. But the game is it's pretty good, like I said before. My only complaint is the difficulty factor is way too high in this game. But it has very nice customization options. I'm sure the story mode is long. 
but it's way too difficult. And the character roster is pretty nice. But other than that, I think I've said enough. If you like my videos, please subscribe. If you'd like to make a point, please rate. If you want to make a comment, please feel free to do so. This has been Stanley Part 2000, and thanks for watching my review of Tekken 6 for the Sony PSP. See you next time.